Well, hi, it's Rob. And as you can probably guess, uh, this is the faucet that I removed from the kitchen. And I didn't really have anything. I mean, I had some other stuff that I wanted to shoot, but honestly, the last couple days have been such a drain that I'm just going to uh, do a simple one. I thought what we'd do is take a look at this <clears throat> and see if we can figure out why it uh, isn't working. And just sort of take it apart and see if we can figure out. Because I really would kind of like to know why, why this wasn't working. That's just so weird. <clears throat> yeah, of course this is fun. Well, the easy part here is we've got three, you know, I think three screws holding it onto the uh, top plate. So <clears throat> let me get a screwdriver. And, you know, I mean this kind of screwdriver. I don't feel like doing a lot of work with my hands today. and see if I can figure out how this comes apart. <laughs> so I did get it apart. Uh, I was trying to figure out how to uh, unscrew it. I took off the handle and then everything came out. So uh, now how? I know I got the cartridge at it one time. I just unscrew. So it's really hard to hold. Can't get any leverage. Okay, a little bit better. So there's the cartridge. And I know that the cartridge is good. That's one that just got replaced. So what do we have in here? Alright, so the cartridge works <clears throat> if you're switching from hot water to cold water. You can see how that valve opens up on one side or the other. It matches with the uh, hot and cold water coming in. And then this is the, the piece that goes out to the, the little sprinkler head. And this is clogged. Now I don't know if that's clogged because of something that's in here or not, but I suspect it might be um, because it has to. Well, it has to cut off the water for these two. Yeah, this. And this goes up, you can see it goes into this, what looks like a cross valve. And I'm guessing that this is a piece that moves in and out. I don't know how much in and out it moves, but let's see what we can do. Ooh, there we go. So 
so that's exactly what that was. Just a piece that goes in here and depending on how this I don't understand is how it knows to send the water back down the tube that goes to the sprinkler handle when the sprinkler handle is pressed down. I just don't know. But it looks to be functioning properly. And it's got this little tiny hole in there to send the water up to the up to the faucet itself. Right there, that's the hole that goes up to the uh, the faucet part. And then the hot and cold lines. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, there it is. Okay. And these just, I don't know, this just doesn't seem to be very well aligned. I don't know if that is on purpose or if it's just bad manufacture or if I'm just a little little strange in trying to figure this stuff out. Hmm. Well I'm a little befuddled. Not sure why it wasn't working. Let's see if I can get these out. There we go. Oh, and that's how the cartridge works. That's off. That's on. I suppose we could get in and take the cartridge apart. <laughs> well, that's uh, not very healthy, is it? Green does. Oh, there we go. So it just takes the incoming water and uses this as a mixer diffuser. So when the hot and cold water come in, it sort of mixes around in here before it goes back out to the spout. That's kind of clever. back in action. Alright, it's a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. 
doesn't seem like there's a whole lot that could go wrong with it unless it was just getting misaligned or jammed or something. But I don't see anything. All of these pipes are clear. Hmm. I guess I don't know. Well, there's an interesting little, uh, interesting little experiment. I guess I learned something. I don't know how useful it is, but uh, it was something. So, right, I'm going to clean this up, and you guys all have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Bye.